Hi everyone, Johnny here working on my film study skills and today we are looking at the Giorgio Petrosian vs David Kyria fight from one championship's Fists of Fury. Sometimes there are so many details in these fights that I want to talk about them all, however I think the benefits in these studies stems from boiling it down to one or two concepts that can be practiced and applied in live training. In these first few sequences there are two things I wanted to focus on, Petrosian's rear cross entry and his occupation of space with the lead hand. To be unpredictable requires an element of predictability, and the smoothness of the entry and the occupation of space showcase great vision and layering in this fight. In this clip, you can see that Petrosian covers the distance with his entry and occupies the space, forcing Kyria into a dilemma. Step back and Petrosian fires the round kick. Alternatively, push forward and he throws the rear knee to end the exchange and force a reset. Let's take another look at this sequence. Petrosian manages the distance well and pauses with his lead hand to occupy the space. Having drawn a defensive reaction, he throws the cross to the body as Kyria looks to hold firm and counter. Instead of shuffling forward, Petrosian fires the rear knee before maintaining physical control of Kyria and exiting out of the exchange. In this next clip, he has added an additional layer of the teep fate into his sequence, however note the outcome is still the same. When a reset doesn't occur, Petrosian has no issue in adding onto his sequence with more of the same. By making minor modifications to his sequences, he can chain his attacks together and control the distance accordingly. That said, Kyria also started to see the patterns employed and began to land some effective counters. The first option shown here was to use the lead hook. A second option was to slip the cross and clinch, however depending on the rule set, the clinch may not be a viable option to score from. A third option that Kyria utilised in this fight was to throw the legs to counter the hands. If you haven't already seen this fight, it is definitely worthwhile to check it out and watch the adjustments that both fighters made throughout the fight. In these last couple of sequences, you can see Petrosian answering some of the counter options by occupying the space and controlling with his lead hand via a long guard. Let me finish off with one last clip that emphasizes the high level artistry on display from both fighters. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you wish to join me as I continue to work on my film study skills.